Today I'm going to be explaining how I turned these three base models into these advanced models over here so that they could fit my solar panel. First, let's look at the holder. So first, the holder I customized by adjusting the sizes so that it would fit the solar panel because originally it was much smaller. And then what I did is when I put it into the 3D printing software, it predicted that it would use around 7 meters of ink, which was way too much. So what I had to do is I cut out a rectangular portion out of the back right here like this. And in its place, I put in these cross braces. So what this did is, is that it still provided support from the back, but it used much less ink because it, there was empty space in the back of it as well. Also, if you look at this original model, there's an indent here. So the indent doesn't go all the way through, and it's really small. So what I did is I extended that indent to go all the way through the holder, and I made it much bigger. The plus side of these is that it allows water to flow through when it's raining, so that water doesn't clog up. Also, if you look over here at the rails, originally in the original model, the rails went only about halfway, but I extended these rails so that the solar panel would have more support from the front. And finally what I did is to make this original holder be able to be held by my arm right here, I had to put a hole so that these this small hole right here could go into the box. So I added that into this model right here. And so you have holes in here. So this hole right here will get inserted into this hole when, this, when I plug these in. Okay, so now let's look at the arm. Originally the arm was this small, which, was, which there was no way it would fit the box. So what I had to do was split it into three parts, right here and right here. So when I split it into these three parts, I used a merge feature in this Microsoft 3D building part um, to put blocks in between them, and then I remerged them. So that made the arm much wider, as you can see here. And I made and I made this just wide enough to fit the box. Also, if you look closely, you can see that I also extended the size of this, the distance between the just yeah, the distance between the circle and the arm itself. Here it was really small and I made it longer over here. I did this so if you imagine a wall over here, this one doesn't have a lot of mobility because it's gonna hit the wall really soon. But with this one right here, you can turn it more you can turn the arm more before it's gonna hit the wall behind it. So that that allowed me to have more mobility. And finally over here we have the wall mount itself. The screws go in here and this cylinder part right here plugs right into here. So what I did is I printed these three parts right here. This, uh, this, and this. And it sort of worked. These two parts worked perfectly, but the problem was that this original model was meant to hold lighter weights. So it didn't work with the really heavy solar panel I had. The solar panel would just cause the arm to fall right off from from the top because there's no support from the top as you can see. So what I had to do instead is I had to cover the top a bit to, so that now if there's a circle in here and you imagine and um, the solar panel is sort of pulling against it, there's still support from the top so the cylinder is not, not going to pop right off again. The only disadvantage is that this allows for less range of mobility but that's fine because for my project I only needed around 45 degrees of mobility and this provides just under 90. So that's all. I just took these models right here and turned them into this. Thanks for watching.